What is up, everybody? It is Jimso here, back again with another League of Legends gameplay commentary, playing Proxy Singe's game, of course, with the 5.13 Singed. And for those of you who don't know what the 5.13 changes of Singe are, check the link in the description uh, to watch my summary of those changes and my thoughts. But basically, this is probably like the perfect game to showcase these changes because Singe has gained MR per level and you are now going to see against this heavy MR magic damage team how effective that is. But before we get into the game, there are a few things I want to uh, just do first of all. Now, you guys are always asking me if I stream and the answer is no. I, I want to stream, but I simply cannot. I don't have good enough internet for it, unfortunately. However, there are a couple of Sin streamers out there who if you want, want a Sin streamer to watch and you know, can't watch me, obviously, you can watch them instead. So, first of all, Johnny Holmes is back. So, click or well, click the link in the description. Nah, I won't put it in the description. I'll put it fucking on the screen here in front of you. Um, that's Johnny Holmes. He's, you know, the guy who taught me how to play Proxy Singed from his videos. You can check him out. He's started streaming again now from Thailand. So, God knows why. But, yeah, he's there. Uh, so, you can go check him out. And also, there's a guy I discovered recently. He goes by the name of um, Ruffle Singed. I'll put his thing on the screen right now as well. So go check him out as well. He plays Proxy Singe. He plays a bit of Lane Singe as well. He's Diamond. Uh, both of them are much better Singe players than me, so you can go watch them stream and uh, be amazed. But, uh, yeah, that's for the shout-outs right there. I just wanted to give that to you guys because, you know, you always ask if I stream, so there are some Singe streamers for you if you wanted to uh, check them out. But, anyways, new Singed. Magic Resist per level. Oh, yes. Now, this... Current matchup is very, very cancerous. I'm up against a, um, both a Gragas Jungle and an Echo Top. Uh, Gragas Jungle is horrible and Echo Top is also horrible. Um, better than Echo Jungle in my opinion, but singed, of course. Uh, but, you know, Gragas Jungle and Echo Top are still a very horrible, uh, combination Especially since previously Singe didn't game at MR per level, but now he does. And you are going to see how effective that is going to be in this situation. You are also going to see the new Goof Lip. And also the fact that Singe now laughs whenever he flings someone. I didn't notice that at first because I just laugh a lot anyway. So I just thought I was hitting the laugh key whenever I flung. But yeah, you start to notice it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. But yeah, nothing much is going on at the moment. We're going to have an uninterrupted proxy early on, which is very nice. But Gragas always comes along very fast. I don't like Gragas in the jungle because his barrel slows a lot. And he can clear the first couple of camps really fast and then come straight for you. So I really don't like him as a jungler, as an enemy. But um, still going to be able to take uh, two waves here early on before he decides to come show his fat little belly. Um, Got to go the tier route this game, simply because... I said in my 5.13 uh, video, which, like I said, you can check in the description below if you haven't seen it already. I said that, you know, the rubber change is sort of neutral. Uh, the fact that it has less health but more mana over time, uh, not as good early game, and probably still overall not as good later on. I honestly think it's worse for Singe now than it was in the past. I think the fact that you get 150 less health, that, that's a ruby crystal less of health early on is massive. And the extra mana, you just don't, you don't need the extra mana. Singe, a, a roar, how it was before, was perfectly fine for Singed. You didn't need that extra mana. You would never run out of mana with roar generally, unless you were, you know, fleeing and using your W every second they were off cooldown. Um, so it was fine where it was before. But now it's just not as good, because it gives you less survivability. More AP, but you don't really need that. So I'm thinking about adopting the tier build again, going tier into Rylai's to get, you know... The mana from the tier, and then just go straight into HP from the Giant's Belt. Um, Gragas is coming here. Just going to execute to the tower here. Try and waste a bit of his time, but... Don't want to take chances with Gragas, just die of the tower. I hope I didn't give him XP there. I think I might have. Oh, well. But yeah, I'm going to go to the tier route this game. Tier, Rylai's, and uh, then some tank. And then, you know, Leandries later on. The new Leandries with 30 extra AP. Always very good. Gonna TP back to lane here, so I can just start pressuring this Echo again. Uh, like I said before, Echo lane isn't as bad as Echo jungle for Singed. Uh, it's just that slow is a real pain. And if you're in lane, it's pretty easy to dodge the slow from his Q. 
but if you're not in lane, he's just coming out of the jungle. He'll very often be running straight at you and it's difficult. Nelly comes in for a gank here. I think I fling him uh, out of her spear, but, you know, I thought she wasn't going to spear that early. This Nelly's a bit ditzy, this game, you're going to see. I sort of have to take control of this game and, you know, instruct my team on every little thing, and she's sort of in her own world most of the time, but we'll get to that when it happens. They're gonna, you're going to see a lot of good plays in this video, and as well as a couple of really stupid plays, so it's a pretty varied video. And uh, I'm missing every CS here, because I'm so good at this champion. Echo has teleported back. Uh, th that's his slow there, you know, he, he would generally only be able to hit you once with it. Uh, you can just run away, or run to the side and avoid the other hit. But yeah, against Echo, you just want to try and not get three stacks of his uh, passive on you. And just try and harass him. He's pretty squishy. And once his Q is down, he can't really do too much when you're right on top of him. That's sort of the fate of most of the AP top laners when you play Singed. Um, and this is like, you know, a tanky AP top like Malka or something. You know, like Echo, Lulu, um, you know, those squishy AP tops who like try and bully you out. If you can get on top of them, Vladimir is another one. If you can get on top of them once you're strong enough, which is generally after you get your ult, uh, you can just destroy them because those champions cannot deal with people being right on top of them most of the time. Echo is a bit better for it, but still, he's squishy, so you can kick his ass pretty well. Back into the proxy here. No sweat. Don't want to. Still don't want to lane against Echo. Uh, rather not. I'd rather just sit here and proxy and just free farm because I will outscale him if I get farm, but he will outscale me if he kills me. I see Gragas coming here, but too late, um, unfortunately, and he does get me. Mistake number one. Um, if I was watching the map like a hawk that entire time, I would have probably been able to get um, get executed in time. But fortunately, I was busy trying to um, <laughs> manage my mana with that minion wave there that I didn't notice. Now, I tell my team that Gragas is top here. This is something you should always be doing if you have a ward in the enemy's jungle like this. As soon as you see anyone, don't don't count on your team just knowing. Tell them, like, Gragas is top. Gragas is at his blue buff. Gragas is doing his wolves. So, like, tell them where the jungler is. Vision on the jungler is the best thing ever. And as long as you have vision of the jungler, you know, if, if top side, your bot lane is a lot more free to do what they want. But, yeah, make sure if you got that wall down in their jungle, you're keeping an eye on it and you're telling your team with both pings and in chat where the enemy jungler is. Farm up a bit more here, waiting for Echo to come back. Almost got my ult, so once I get my ult, there's nothing that Echo can really do. Um, if Gragas comes along for a gank, then yes, but you know Gragas isn't really ganking, he's just sort of catching me out while I'm proxying, which is just my bad. Um, but I'm actually going to go boots of swiftness this game. In my item video, the next part of my Singe Guard, the item video, which I'm glad that I was so lazy in making since all the items have changed now and I actually <laughs> have changed my opinion on the items. Um, I'm going to mention that for boots, there are three boot options you can build on Singe. You can either build Merc Treads, which you'll build 60% of the time. Obviously, you get them against the hard crowd control that really kills Singed. Uh, you got Ninja Tar Boot, which you build about 30% of the time. And that's for, obviously, you know, heavy AD or when they don't have much, um, when they don't have much, what is it? Hard, hard CC, sorry. Don't know why I need to think there. Um, when they have a lot of hard CC, uh, not much hard CC, you can buy that as well. And then there's Boots of Swiftness, which you buy when the enemy team has a lot of slows, or when they don't have much AD or hard CC, which is pretty rare. Um, this game I'm going to go Boots of Swiftness because Echo slow, Gragas slow, Jinx slow, Janna slow. You know, the only, like, hard CC they got that can be countered by Tenacity is Victor stun and Echo stun, which I'm not going to be caught by too much this game. So, went to go Boots of Swiftness this game. Pretty much, uh, I'd say it's mandatory against Gragas Echo jungle. Uh, Echo Top Gragas Jungle, because, you know, the slow is just too much. And, yeah, those boots of Swiftness are going to really help this game. Boots of Swiftness are probably the best boots for Singe stat-wise, because they give you the most movement speed. But, obviously, there's only a small time when you will build uh, build them, because, you know, you either need Merc Treads or you need um, Ninja Tabi. So, Echo's gone back here, and he's just let a minion wave die to the tower. So, that's a cannon creep way that he's just lost, basically. Um, I know he's coming back and I see Gragas there, so I'm going to try to just get these minions and skedaddle as quickly as I can. He's lost quite a bit of CS and experience there, so, you know, that was my job done. Gragas is still topside, so I ping him, um, and tell my team Grag topside, just so that, well, my bot lane's getting wrecked, but just so that, you know, hopefully Lissandra knows to not be so aggressive or to stick to the right side of mid lane so that she doesn't get caught out. 
Just gonna run back now. No need to TP. I'm not gonna lose any CS if I just run back. And I want to try and make a play in bot lane since they are getting pushed pretty hard into the tower. And uh, see if I can relieve them. Ah. But yeah, now, now like, there's nothing that Echo can do to kill me here. He doesn't have Ignite and, you know, he's very squishy. So if he tries to fight me, I'll just fight him back. And I did pick up that Null Magic Mantle early on. Even though I am going for Boost of Swiftness, I did pick up that Null Magic Mantle. You generally want to do that against... Um, an AP top laner, but especially if they have an AP jungler as well. You want to try and get it first item if you can, but I couldn't get it first item since I only got two A's at the start, so I had to go for the boots instead. But I did go for that um, Null Magic Mantle now, which helps me out against Gragas jungle and against Echo top, obviously. And as you can see, I actually have... How much? I think I have like 70 MR. I'm gonna fight Echo a bit here, but you know, I'm too tanky for him with my ult running. Um, Sins actually gains MR per level now, as you can see by the fact that I have a different amount of MR than I normally would. Um, he used his ult there because he thinks he's going to die. He wouldn't have died, but if I knew he was going to use his ult, I didn't think he would. I could have killed him there. Oh well. But yeah, uh, the fact that Sins gains MR per level now is just amazing. It's just such a massive change, and it's such a good change that needed to happen a long time ago. Probably when they nerfed his ultimate back, you know, fucking Season 3, they needed to add MR per level. But, you know, he's a lot better now, definitely, with that MR per level. And that increased root duration on his E, which is it's just great, you know. Uh, I'm glad that Riot hasn't forgotten Singe. They have, they have a habit to forget some champions sometimes. And I guess they did forget Singe for, like, all of Season 4. They, like, didn't do anything to him. Then, like, towards the end of Season 4, they buffed his ult. And then, you know, later on, they buffed... You know, they gave him the root duration on his, um... They gave him the root on his WE combo. And then they buffed that now. So, Sinj is in a really good place. He's received a lot of buffs over the last half year. So, yeah. Now now's as good a time as any to pick him up, guys, if you're thinking about it. Now, I'm debating here whether or not to go Giant Spell, or like, start building my Giant Spell, or go into Spectre's Cow. Decide to go Spectre's Cow, since I can't afford the Giant Spell yet. And, obviously, just against their team. They have a lot of AP, so Spectre's Cow is just going to help me quite a bit early on. Might as well go for it now. Going to get Banshees at some point, so... It is good to get it. Notice that Gragas is topside again. Make sure I tell my team Gragas top. It is blue, so, you know, if Nidalee wants to, you know, fuck with Gragas a bit, she knows where he is. But, you know, we know two things now. We know that Gragas is blue, and we know that he's not giving it to Victor. So... Lissandra can be very aggressive and push Victor into his tower because he's not going to have too much mana to be able to push back. Ward up here because I don't want Gragas coming for me. Like I said, Gragas and Echo Gank could still definitely kill me. I don't have Swiftness Boots yet. And they still do a lot of damage despite my MR. Corky just bug splapped here. He'll be back very soon. Run behind to um, start my proxy again. Oh, never mind. No, I, I just I check the um, blue buff there just to see if Gragas is nearby. Uh, he's not, fortunately, so I can be a bit more aggressive. I pop my ult here again. I think the Echo is going to try and run past me to get back to his tower, but he runs the other way. Probably smart by him, but waste of my ult. It's not too bad, but didn't really do anything with it. I noticed that Gragas is near Dragon, so I'm going to look to see what's going to happen. I'm going to teleport in here, and I'm going to mistakenly think that Corky is closer than he is at the moment, and go like, oh, we can fight here, but yeah, I didn't notice that Corky was all the way back there. I thought he was closer, and I just died for no reason there. That was a mistake, but I thought I had back up closer to me, and that we could actually do something, but we did not. Fortunately, Echo is losing some CS here. I don't know why he decided to come come down. Um, he's just losing all these minions to tower. My CS is definitely better than his this game. I'm gonna start sieging down this tower. Nidalee is going to come in and she's gonna chuck a spear and get a kill. Or not, not chuck a spear. I think she jumps on Echo there and takes him out. 
So now he's dead again, and I can push another wave into his tower. So he loses even more CS, which is great. Going for Rylai's second item here, because obviously Rylai has to be buff on Singed. It's a much better item on Singed than it was before. Uh, it was a, a pretty much a mandatory item on Singed before. It's even more mandatory now. Um, now gives 20% slow on his Q's poison as opposed to 15%, which is really significant. You do notice it. Like, people have been saying that it's glitched at the moment. And it's, it's doing 40% slow instead of uh, 20. Like, it's applying the um, wrong one. But I didn't notice in this game. I'm pretty sure I checked this game and I, it was a 20% slow on my poison. Um, I don't know where they're getting that from. I'm pretty sure that's incorrect. But if it's not incorrect, then Singe is amazingly overpowered right now until he gets fixed um, next patch. So, play him. If Because if Rylai is slowing with his poison for 40%, that is ridiculously overpowered. So, <laughs> if that is the case, then correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Team test out mid lane turret there, very good. I'm not considering taking out top lane turret just yet because I might as well let Echo lose more CS. Ward up again, hop behind to uh, continue proxying. Uh, notice that Echo and Jana are both here, so I just pop my ult. And there's nothing really that much could do. There's that increased root duration there, the extra five, uh, 0 0.5 seconds on the level 3E. Um, I have so much MR at the moment that these three can't touch me, uh, especially with my ult running. I just flipped Argus into the team and he dies. Victor decides to go YOLO here, but he gets wrecked by a Corky rocket right there. And yeah, just an easy two for one there. Don't chase Singed. That's the sort of shit that happens. Um, you get baited by just everything that he does and his team just comes and kills you. I fling the, uh, I fling the scuttle crab out of Nidalee's spear again there. So, <laughs> poor Nidalee. I think I do that once more in this game as well. I fling someone out of her spear toss. Really sucks for the new Nidalee with the fucking reduced spear width. Thank god. I, like, I don't know, I miss old Nidalee. I know that's, like, sacrilege, but I like the old Nidalee that, like, blew people up with the single spear. That was pretty funny. Uh, I don't like this new Nidalee who's all like fucking jump on everyone's face and destroy them. I hate that Nidalee. I think that's so obnoxious. I prefer long range spear tossing half health Nidalee to that. I know that's weird, but I do. Now, one thing I don't like about the uh, AP item changes is that now um, nothing that you build in the AP item area builds out of blasting wand. They build out of. Um... Oh, no, I think the Andrews does. But Rylai's is not built out of a blasting wand anymore. It builds out of a uh, needlessly large rod. So it costs more gold to get, obviously. So you can't get it as much, which sort of sucks. Uh, you have to go for that amplifying tome instead. But um, now you always get that giant spell first. Before, like, you could sometimes decide to go for the uh, blasting wand before you go for the giant spell because. Like, if you're ahead and you're just killing your opponent over and over again in lane, then you can just go for uh, the blasting one and just keep killing them with that. But now, you know, needlessly large rod costs 400 gold more than blasting one, so... Not really something you can do. It goes back top lane, Fat Man's here again, but, you know, both of them can't do anything to me. I got boots of swiftness now, so... Yeah, not a problem. Gonna flip this blue buff over the wall. Which, yeah, it's good, but also it starts resetting while it's over the wall. So my team is gonna have a very hard time killing it if you want to just watch it blue buff. I'm just zoning the enemy team away from mine here so they can secure it. Don't want Gragas taking it. Flip Gragas into them to hopefully get a, um, you know, engage there, but fortunately don't. Go on to Victor here. Sandra flashes over the wall, which I didn't expect, but Janna takes it back over. I goo flip Victor into the uh, goo there. Nice goo flip. And then, you know, Jinx takes out Asandra, and I go for Gragas here, but once again, his barrel just catches me out. And here I realize I'm fucked, and I'm really pissed off, because I thought I could I, you know, I could have played that a lot better, but I didn't. So, yeah, I was pretty pissed off with myself, but, you know, we got the victor, we got a few more kills, so, worked out well in the end anyway.
It's just the displacements are a pain in the ass. They got the Gragas ult and then they got the Janna ult. It just fucking blows the team all over the place. It's really annoying. They have good disengage, which they don't use too well. <laughs> Gonna head back top lane now. I would love to get that wave in bot, but Lissandra got there first. First come, first serve, unfortunately. So, just gonna head top, keep pressuring Echo, keep pressuring top lane, try and get Gragas to stay top so that my team can go for dragons and all that jazz. That's what you generally want to do with Singed. Just be a giant nuisance. That's what the champion's designed for. He's not designed for like fucking flashy play, and I'm so sick, and you know, I'm fucking VR, M VRP, MVP. Fucking such a good player, sick LC. No, he's just designed to be a pest. That sort of champion that Sinjid is, he's a pest. Um, so you need to play him as such. You need to constantly be harassing a single lane. Um, I love pest type champions. I love Singe. I love Vladimir, unless I'm playing against him as Singed. Um, yeah, these sorts of champions just create pressure. That's their job. Uh, and occasionally they have good team fight. I'm just going to start smacking down this tower. I have my TP. going to TP to Thresh's Lantern right there, which you can do. Um, probably didn't need to, but, you know, whatever. I'm here now, so I might as well do something. Probably a bit of a dubious flip on Gragas there. He flashes out. I don't know. Maybe he wouldn't have flashed if I didn't do that. So I got his flash. But Lissandra does die. Notice their red buff here, so... Might as well take that. We have very good uh, buff control this game. We managed to take quite a few of their red buffs and blue buffs. So... Yeah, Gragas is a bit starved. I tell my team to go get Dragon here, and this is where Nidalee, like, I'm like, you know, what the fuck is Nidalee doing? Like, I, I told them, like, I will zone them. Go get Dragon. What are you doing? Go get Dragon, you stupid bitch. Go, run, Dragon, now. There we go. Yeah, she does that, I think, twice more in this game. I don't know if she has the team muted, but, you know, just fucking get the Dragon. Get the Baron. Stop being an idiot. Um, I get pretty annoyed this game at one point. You're going to see... I almost rage. I almost, almost. Rare moment of Chimso raging in game. Almost. But, not yet. <clears throat> Take the fresh land in there just to get out. Don't really need to fight. Gragas is gonna fat man, fat man slide and then fucking barrel nearly back, but she's just gonna flash out. And we're all just gonna leave this fight. So, we got the dragon. That's good. Didn't lose anyone, except for Lissandra early on. I got a Steam message there, so I went tabbed out to check it. You're going to hear a couple of Steam messages in this game, and you're going to hear, I think, like, the sound of a Windows 8 device disconnecting. It's not you. It's my... It's the recording. Sorry about that. But now I notice this big wave down bottom, so I'm going to go get it. Stacking up my tier a little bit here while I run down. Um, the tier route is a very nice route to go. Like, a lot of people would, like, undermine the tier route. Uh, I don't like people who say, like, oh, this is fucking shit on Singe, and this is good on Singe, you should always build this, you should, like, shut, shut up, you're fucking idiot, like, every item has negatives and positives on Singe, like, yeah, sure, there might be a build that is objectively better all the time, or in most scenarios, but there will be some times where, like, having an earlier Rylides when you go the tier route as opposed to the Royal route is better, um, so, you know, I'm not an absolutist when it comes to Singe builds. I experiment with a lot of Singe builds. You know, AP Bruiser, Full Tank, uh, Sunfire Cape Singe, which I really like, but I haven't had a chance to play too much. There are lots of different ways you can build Singe, because there's so many damn items that work on him. You're going to see another interesting choice that I make this game. I'm going to get Banner of Command. Um, not for its split push power, not for the pa uh, not for the active, but just for its stats. Um, it's a very good item to get on Singed. Because it gives MR, it gives a little bit of HP, and it gives AP as well. So, you increase pretty much everything. As opposed to Locket, which I think only gives... I think Locket gives a bit of... No. It gives health, and it gives the um, MR. But it also gives the active... I don't know. Someone look it up. You, you know what I mean. But the, the, the mana gets AP as well, so it's very nice on Singed. Especially if you go on the AP Bruiser route. No, so blue buff's up here again, so we'll take this. And I, I decide to goofy flip the blue buff, but once again, <laughs> this starts the blue buff resetting, so they sort of have to <laughs> chunk it down to be able to get it. I'm singed, I'm helping. In the end, they just don't get it. We just go for the uh, engage instead. But whatever, it's all good. 
Thresh somehow gets out. Um, I'm getting stunned up by the Echo Stun there, but I'm just going to walk out. Jinx is going to try and uh, catch up to me. My Swiftness Boots negate that slow quite a bit, and I just dropped the Goo Flip. Uh, goo flip. I just dropped the Goo there to just run out on a, under 100 HP. So it's all good. Going to head back. Got to defend mid lane, so I'm going to try and go back as quick as I can. Pick up the Ralas. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a bit sore. I should have bought some more water. Ah! Hmm. Yeah. Could just go head back to the... Defend the mid lane now. Oh no. I'm gonna go bot. Oh yeah, my TP's up, so... That's alright. I'm able to come and help my team. With my TP up. It's up the ward for me. But we have quite a few wards around, so... I've got a lot of places that I can TP to. I ping top lane just so that somebody can go get the CS, but my team doesn't really like going top lane for some reason. <sighs> Sorry. Ah, it's pretty late here. Trying to do work on this tower, but, you know, Jada and Gragas are here, so not much I can do. Apart from taunt them in front of their tower. I think Dragon's going to be up soon. Sandra's top lane. Uh, but, you know, we can probably get Dragon even without her. We're pretty strong right now. I'm pretty strong right now. So. Tell my team to ward if they fight. I'm going to go mid lane to try and stop this victor. But obviously, you know, I could try and TP in. Get out of this stun there pretty quick. I'm just going to try and chase him down with my Rally slow. Okay, let, uh, watch his movement speed here. Watch his movement speed, okay? So he has like 400 base movement speed. Okay, that was my fling there that gave him the 40%. I'm not sure if he was slowed for 40% or not. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's only 20% and that the 40% glitch isn't the case. Gotta run out through here. Just managed to survive um, 10 HP. But, you know, Graz was trying to chase me down, so I had to get out. Not today, bitches. Not today. TP is still up, so a good time to recall. Get my health back, get some items, get my home guards. And then we can just go right back in. TP's up, so I'm going to go bot. And just split push that down. Dragon's in 15 seconds. Team can get top tower, then rotate to dragon. Which is good. I'm already down there, so don't need to do anything but just push this wave out. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to uh, talk to everyone about. Um, I'm thinking about getting a Monster Cat license, which, for those of you who don't know, the YouTube channel Monster Cat, it's basically like a channel that uploads quite a bit of electronic music from a lot of different artists. Um, and what you can do is you can buy a Monster Cat license, which allows you to use any of their songs in your monetized YouTube videos. So I'm thinking about getting a Monster Cat license just so I can have music in videos like these, just to like maybe fill the silence and just, you know, music for other different videos that I might make. But yeah, tell me what you think. Do you guys like Monster Cat? You know, license is pretty cheap, so. I wouldn't mind getting it, but yeah, give me your thoughts on that. If you want to see some music in like these, not live commentaries, but just commentaries that I make, just to fill the gaps in silence, so <laughs> I don't run my voice ragged talking about useless shit. Yeah, a bit of a fight there. Um, you know, a bit crazy. Sort of missed it. I was talking about the Monster Scout license. Literally <laughs> just staying in here for some reason. Um, I'm just gonna drop a, some goo there to help her get away. Our team, like, we have such an annoying team. We got Nidalee, who's always going to be getting away. We got, uh, Zonyas. We got me, who's always going to be getting away with low HP. It's a pretty annoying team to play against. We got Corky, who can Valkyrie out. So, our whole team is pretty troll. But we're still going to make sure we don't get caught out, because that will kick our, uh, kick our asses in the long run. 
pick up a Banshee's Vow here, obviously to help counter all of their um, AP. Jinx is getting fed though, which I don't like. She is their only AD, and if she gets fed, and I'm, you know, full magic resist, that's going to be a big pain in the ass. So, I hope she doesn't get fed anymore, but if we can get onto her, as Thresh says, we can just annihilate her and win any fight. There's that laughing while flinging right there. I didn't notice it at first, like I said, because I always laugh just randomly all the time. But then I'm just like, yeah, I remember this. You laugh when you fling, it's pretty cool. My TP's up here still, so I'm going to start split pushing down here. They catch out Jinx, which is very good. I got TP, so I say, you know... Should they go get Baron, but maybe not. You know, it's still a four, only a 4v5, but I'm going to push mid instead. <sighs> yeah. Tired, sorry. <laughs> but I'm going to TP in here. I know there's a fight going on, but cancel it because I don't need to. They've won that fight. I'm going to start doing some work on this tower. Victor has to go top to defend, up uh, mid to defend, otherwise, they're going to lose. Uh, the mid tower. We're gonna lose it anyway, though. And I'm just gonna start smacking down this tower here. My team's winning the fight, so I don't have to worry about teleporting in because my TP's down. And I'm actually just gonna take this tower. Um, that's not something that Sinji does very often because he doesn't have much AD. But I'm just gonna take this tower. Nobody comes down to stop me. So if you know Sinj has 30, 30, 40 seconds with the tower, he will take it down. And just like that, all the outer towers are gone. And uh, we can start pressuring their inhibitor towers now. <laughs> of course, my top my top second tier tower is still standing, as it is most games. Because um, <laughs> nobody's able to push it due to my proxying. So. It's always a mark of pride to see that tower still standing. <sighs> and then you want to kill yourself when... <laughs> Both bot and both top towers, uh, mid towers are gone, and yours are both still up, and you lose the game. It's like fucking hell. Come on, guys, come on. Gotta go into a Ranguant's Omen here, um, simply because it's. I need some armor for Jinx, but I don't need like a Thorn Mail for her. She's not that big of a threat, so I'm gonna get some HP as well, just to help deal with their uh, AP champs as well. So. Works out well. Now, I, I'm, I want my team to do Baron here. I'm like, okay, guys, let's, let's do Baron. But, you yeah, know, for some reason, they want to do something else. I don't know why. We could have gotten Baron there. But, doesn't look like it's going to happen. Nilly's just going to want to fuck around with the enemy team. You're still like, you know, what the fuck are you doing? Just fucking go to the Baron, you stupid bitch. Like, what are you doing? What is she doing? What the fuck is she doing? Go to the Baron. I'm, I'm just, I'm literally like, go to the fucking Baron. Um, but it's too late now. Um, you know, they're, they're back up. You know, like, what, like, literally, what the fuck was she doing? Um, she'd gone straight for that Baron. We could have rushed it down, but now... The enemy team's going to arrive, and what's actually going to happen is they're going to break off Baron. They see me fighting here. I already told them, like, I will zone them. Uh, but they're going to break off doing Baron to come fight for some reason. Um, even though I had them perfectly in hand. I don't know. This, ugh. I hate it when this shit happens. I get double stunned here by both the Chompers and the Victor W. And then Gragas just finishes me off. And my team is just like, oh, like, oh, like they go off Baron. And yet they still don't come help me. I don't fucking know, man. It was... I'm, I'm in shock here. Like, I thought they got the Baron. And just during that fight, I thought they were getting the Baron. And I, I just look there and I see Baron still up. I'm like, what? Why is Baron still up? Oh, well. That's just... Just horrible. I hate that. Welcome to Platinum, folks. From what I've heard, it's no better in Diamond. <laughs>
TP is up. I want to head top lane to stop this tower getting pushed down. So, gonna head there straight away with my home guard. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm gonna TP in with my home guards. Nothing really happened though, just zoning them away. This will be our fourth dragon, so, you know, on the route to fifth dragon here. You're gonna see some very, very good zoning uh, later on in this game, uh, towards the fifth dragon fight. Because the enemy team wants to stop us getting that fifth dragon so bad, and I just cock blocked them so hard, it's pretty funny. But yeah, gotta keep pushing now. We got the fourth dragon. So we got the extra damage to minions. Corky's bot lane though, so mm, not gonna be able to do too much with him there. But you know, he we, it's fine. Yeah, there's a lot of farm down there, so it's good for the AD carry to get that. And we're just gonna disengage, and we're going to uh, buy and farm a bit more, so we can now uh, get ready for a push or another Baron fight, because it's starting to get into late game here. I'm starting to get really beefy. I'll be really hurting the enemy team quite a bit soon. So, it's always good when you get to late game of Singed. I hear you. I tell Thresh here that I'm going to go Aegis because I'm going to build Banner of Command, which builds out of Aegis. So, you want to like, tell your team, generally the support, um, that you're going to be building Aegis so that they don't build it because obviously the passives don't stack. So make sure you let your team know or the support know that you're going to be building it. They might not be building it anyway, but it's good to let them know. Okay, so Echo has 40... I don't know. Is it slowing for... I don't know. Thresh lands a fucking sick flash hook right there. <laughs> Channeling Barry. Or the, the nice hook. But I managed to pick up the echo. Catch him out with my fling. Oh, not my fling, with the Rally slow. And then Thresh comes in, just hooks him out. And now my team can go get Baron. For some reason, now they recognize, like, yes, we can get Baron now. Like, my god, just, they could have gotten it before and we could have pushed something down. This game could have been over, could have been over so much more quickly, but... What are you gonna do? You get dubious teams sometimes. It's not gonna push down here, but I'm tanking the tower, unfortunately. That minion's smacking away on it, so. Just stick around and protect it for a bit. No dive. Thank you, Thresh. Uh, we should not dive this, absolutely. And uh, we don't. Which is good. Until Thresh lands that hook, and then we, you know, we just combo CC Janna and take her out. I get Gragas barreled into the tower again, but he can't fucking kill me. Except Echo when I'm right on top of him, because. I was trying to flick him, but... Oh well. We managed to kick their ass pretty hard here. Corky jumps over the wall and grabs Jinx as well. And now we just get this tower and the inhibitor. So, good hook by Thresh to get that channel, and then just good plays overall. I'm gonna go into that banner of command now. Doesn't look like I'm getting Leandris this game. No Leandris this game. Gragas is the only tanky person on their team. And he ain't doing too much. But yeah, banner of command's a great item because, like I said before, it gives you basically the Aegis passive and it gives you AP as well. So it's a good AP slash MR item. I think it's like the only one of them in the game. Oh no, like Abyssal is another one. But this one's for your whole team. So you get Abyssal if you're feeling selfish, but you get. Um, you get Banner of Command if you're feeling generous and want to help the rest of the team with that aura. Depends depends on the matchup, I suppose. I guess because the enemy team has a lot of AoE magic damage, that um, it would be better. That 
That might seem to my TP is up again. Waiting out fifth dragon here. It's only a minute out, so I'm gonna stick around. I see Gragas top lane, but that's fine. If Gragas pushes down top, we're gonna get fifth dragon, so he needs to come stop us. Which he's gonna do. Just keep farming here while I wait for the dragon to spawn. But now I'm going to get busy to the zone. Now, watch carefully what happens here. This is how you need to play Singed around objectives, okay? Get my team to all get towards this Baron. I'm already in position to zone the enemy away. Now, the main person you want to zone is the jungler. I'm telling my team here, like, do not fucking get off that dragon to come help me. Let me fight. Spot Gragas, I'm right after him. Um... You want to just stop him from getting that dragon. He just starts to go around, but he has to take the long way because I'm blocking him. Oh, no, you don't. I'm going to... I'm coming for you. Thresh throws his lantern. I don't want it. I'm going to get rid of him. See, I'm just I'm just zoning the whole enemy team out. I'm slowing them with my allies. I'm slowing him with the goo, and they just can't get to this dragon. They can't. Um, you know, I just, I've done too much to stop them, and we just pick up that fifth dragon very easily right there. I'm trying to get in range here to drop a Mega Haste it down, but unfortunately, the enemy team is too fast. I... Oops. <laughs> get stuck in Victor's stun and Jinx takes me out. And then nearly actually dies to a Janna Tornado. Embarrassing. So we lose, you know, two of our Fist Dragon busts there, but... Not a total disaster. We did get Fist Dragon, and I don't think they have one yet. Do they have one yet? No, they don't even have one yet, so... We are definitely destroying them on the objective game. And in the meantime, minions did get a uh, inhibitor tower as well. So. It's all good. All worked out in the end. Thresh lands another great hook onto someone under the tower right there. Ah, uh, but yeah, the Sandra just blows... Uh, Victor just blows the Sandra up, but managed to take him out. Ouch. <laughs> there goes our fifth dragon. But, yeah, we, we got quite a bit out of it still, so... It's not too much of a disaster. And look at this right here. <laughs> now, I noticed that the minions are banging on the inhibitor. This was the highlight video I uploaded yesterday. I'm gonna come in here, and I'm just like, I want to try and get this inhibitor before they come back. Um, I honestly think that I can get it before they start doing any huge damage to me. Um, I'm willing to die to get this inhibitor, but unfortunately, Gragas barrels me back. And I know I can't run back in there and get it. So I just start leading him on a chase, and the minions are just going to take that inhibitor. Yeah, annoying flies, fuck off, you, you can't, you can't touch me. You can't, I'm too tanky, look at that, I just run right out, and the uh, minions are getting, take out the rest of the inhibitor for me, so. There you go, chase is singed again. Um, <laughs> don't do it, uh, even if you kill him, it's not worth it. come here. No more minions. Victor's trying to clear them out. I don't want him to clear them out. I want our team to try and push this down, but you know, get fucking stunned up in all their shit. And still manage to escape. Nearly kills Victor, but I don't think she's going to get away here. Nope. And I'm going to get a bit too close and die. <laughs> Double kill for Jinx. Not good at all, but you know, we've taken quite a bit of their base, so it's not horrible. And Baron's up in 40, so it's not like it's going to be spawning and we're not going to be able to get there in time. We will be able to get there in time, so. So good, guys. So good. I tell him to prep Baron, you know, so that when me and Nilly get back, we can just get it and then push to win. Easy. Got very good ward coverage. Thresh is doing a great job with warding uh, and clearing out wards. And obviously, because I've got that greater stealth, uh, greater stealth totem as well, I'm dropping a lot of wards. I generally have three wards down, so we're doing very well with the vision game here. Just as Thresh says, we need to stay alive. The Sandra gets killed. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, now he can't do Baron, but I'm obviously, we obviously have to go there and stop them from doing it. But I'm going to rush mid, 
and just start smacking that down because they'll have to react to me smacking on the inhibitor. They can't um, do Baron with me doing that. Banner of Command, this cannon minion right here, just to push faster. But yeah, like they have to come, they have to come stop me. Um, this is a this was a very good play by me here. Um, well, the idea was very good. I'm just like you know. My team can just go do Baron, and I'll start smacking their inhibitor, and they have to come stop me. Like, they cannot do Baron. And we can just get a free Baron off of that. So I'm just going to start doing work on this. I'm not going to get it. Uh, I'm going to try and get it, but the enemy team's going to recall. Um, and yeah. I'm just going to put, like, I should have just ran here, but I'm like, I can get it, I can get it. No, I can't. Uh, they do way too much damage. But we do get a free Baron, so whatever. It's all good. Go look for opportunities like that to, you know, create, be a distraction for your team. That's what Singe does. Like I said, he's a pest. You need to play Singe and be very annoying. That's how you win games. As you can notice, I'm dying quite a bit this game, but I'm always pretty much always pretty much always getting something when I'm dying. Um, dying's not bad on Singe as long as you die for a good reason. Just keep that in mind. You need to have balls to play Singe and you not be afraid to die. You need to realize that your KD is going to be shit, but your win rate is going to be good as well. That's just how Singe works. Hanging around Fist Dragon here because we can get, well, Six Dragon technically, but, you know, Fist Dragon again. Uh, if we can get Fist Dragon, we can probably just win with that. So we're grooving around it here. I'm trying to head down so that I can zone the enemy team out, same as before. And yeah, we just grab it and we can win with both Baron and the Dragon right there. I tell my team to rush it down. I will stop them, obviously. But there's not much the enemy team's going to be able to do. they got to try and defend their base. So, I'm just going to ward up. So what you want to do, you want to ward like these two bushes here or that, that bush there. Just try and stop them from uh, coming in. I see Jinx here. She's out of place. I pop old ghost. I start running towards her. Um, she says nobody peels for her here. Nobody peels for her. Um, Raga sort of did, but <laughs> yeah, you can't stop Sin this late with both old and ghost running. Uh, he is going to catch you. And yeah, we just take out Jinx, and yeah, not much they can do. It's just a pretty easy win right there. Um, it took longer than it should have. We were ahead most of the game, but now we finally just win. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, appreciate it. Sorry if I'm a bit, you know, not as energetic. This video <laughs> is pretty late. So yeah, uh, check out the rest of my videos if you want. Leave a like. You know, comment, subscribe if you want to see some more Singe content or just some general league content. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, I'll catch you guys all in the next video. And don't forget to check out those streamers that I mentioned at the beginning. Trust me, you'll like them. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you later. Have a good one.